Another important concept for dialogic classrooms is uptake. Uh, in uptake moves, a speaker, and this could be the student or the teacher, incorporates a previous answer into a subsequent question. And so this builds a line of discussion rather than changing to a new topic. So our compulsion culturally is to constantly bring up new topics. And this happens in all sorts of settings, including school and workplaces. But instead, uptake asks us to pause and think about how can we build on a student response before moving on to a new line of questioning or to a new topic. Uh, linguistically, this sort of move is marked by pronouns and other deictic references. So thing, words like it, that, this, then, so, maybe, though, or even a pause. So for example, uh, a student might, might say something like, I actually think that Johnson has an important point here, even though his statement that Grand Theft Auto is good for kids is extreme. And then the teacher asks, why do you say that? So notice that the teacher, we can see the didactic reference in the teacher's response. So the word that points back to the student's question, and it continues to build on what the student contributed rather than moving on to a new topic. Another concept is what's called revoicing. And in this sort of move, um, a student's comments are restated or incorporated into a subsequent question. And so this builds discourse based on students' contributions. And I use this sort of move a lot when I have a student who is really shy or really quiet or sometimes I have students who are difficult to understand. Um, so this sort of move allows that student to have a voice in the class when they might not otherwise. And it's also great for small group discussions. So I'll go around to different groups and listen to what they're saying and then bring big ideas back to the whole class discussion for everyone to think about. So for example, this is from a first year composition class where we had done a reading uh, and students were in small groups. And so the move I made after the small groups was, as I was listening in on your group discussions about Johnson's article, I noticed that Joe had a very strong reaction against Johnson's argument saying something like, he's crazy to suggest that a game like Grand Theft Auto has any value for learning. Did anyone else have a similar reaction? Why do you agree with Joe? And so this sort of uh, move in this case allows a space in the classroom for students to disagree with the reading. So often students will assume that since I assigned a reading, I must agree with it. And so they can't disagree. And so this creates that opportunity for students to bring that line of response into the classroom discussion. And then the final concept I'd like to talk, to, talk about today is wait time. And so in verbal classrooms, it's really easy for many students to be shut out by the speed of discourse. And so wait time allows for periods of silence following a teacher's questions or a student's response. Across American classrooms and also classrooms in other places, wait times tend to be really short, uh, even as short as under a second long. And what researchers have found is that if teachers can increase that wait time to three or more seconds, student participation also increases uh, a, a large amount. And so this increased wait time creates more opportunities for uptake and dialogic inter interaction and allows more students to participate. So the next thing I'd like to do is we're going to move this activity online to the discussion board and we're going to practice with a popular um, text which is a, the lyrics of a song. Uh, so what I'd like you to do is listen to an Ed Sheeran song called The A-Team. You might have heard it on the radio several years ago and I'd like you to follow along with the lyrics. So the first time you listen to the song I'd like you to to hide the video from yourself, and I'd like you just to grapple with what the lyrics are talking about and try to make sense of it. And then I'd like you to listen to it a second time, and this time you can have the video on. 
In the discussion board, I'd like you to come up with one authentic question based on the song. So this should be a question that opens up discussion. It shouldn't be one where we can go to the song and pick out the word that answers it or the place in the song where it's answered, but it should be something that creates opportunity for in-depth in discussion or dialogic discussion. And then the other thing I'd like you to do is respond to two of your classmates' questions. And as you respond, I'd like you to try out including either an uptake move or a revoicing move in each of your responses. Finally, I've included some further reading uh, and the sources for this lecture. So if you're in really interested in this topic, these are some other things you might want to check out.